After you've finished um, doing your terrestrial scan along with the satellite channels that are pre-programmed onto the box, you may make a decision that you want to delete certain channels or to change the order of channels. And there's quite easy fe features to use on the Triax uh, box for this, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to press the OK button here, bring the menu up, and then I'm just going to page down. Uh, sorry, I'll just do the opposite direction here. So um, uh, what, what, what you'll find happens here is that um, when you do a scan and you're pulled in a number of different radio stations, things like this, and television stations from different transmitters, uh, the strongest signals are added into the list in position uh, 200 for the radio stations or for the terrestrial at the top of the list. But the, the weaker signals then are added in as sort of other choice channels from position 1000 down. So you might make a decision, look, it's a bit confusing having these stations here. I'm not going to be using this transmitter. I'd just like to get rid of it. You can actually just come along here and press the yellow button here and decide to delete it. So if you come along here and would you like to delete this, go OK. And just continuously repeat this process here. So this is simply a way of doing, we'll say, where you can highlight 10 channels together and delete them all in one go, which would be a little bit handier. But anyway, that's it. But you can just see the basic logic here. We'll just go up a little bit further here, and we'll go for 3E e here. And we'll just go uh, delete, and then continue. And that's it. We'll move up from there. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go up, we'll say, to where, where the radio stations are come in here, at the ones with the strong signal. And they're in position 200. You can see them all grouped there together. And you might make a decision that, okay, I'd like to put 2FM in, the, in position number 2. Um, so I come along here. And at this time, if we want to move it, we hit the, the yellow or the blue button here. Go blue. And where would we... It asks what we'd like to do. And you say I'd like to renumber it. So I'll go to yellow option. And it just says what number. And I'll say, yeah, we'll put it into position... Um, it's actually saying 201 there because the last time I moved something, that's where I moved it. So I'll just actually say that, okay, there. I could type in the number here direct, actually, if you wanted. Maybe it'll be more de demonstrative for people. So I'll just say, actually, position 200 uh, and press OK. And um, if we come here now, this is actually put 2FM above it on the list. So you can see the basic logic. And, you know, you might have certain things that you're just not happy with the order of. So it's quite quick to do it. And me, because it's on a one-off basis, it'll only take a few minutes extra to do it. So that's it, an overview of how to uh, edit and delete uh, your channel list.